Hey guys, welcome back. So today's tutorial is going to be a full face makeup tutorial. Yay, I get to play with makeup today. It's been a bit. I know for you guys it may not feel like it's been a while. For me it has, especially to be like full glam type of makeup. I haven't done this in like forever, you guys. Uh, so I'm super excited. I love the outcome of it. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are feeling this look. Um, I use a medley of products, you guys. Like, I created cocktails with a bunch of different products, different brands. So, uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you have fun. And again, you know, when you create these looks, you don't have to use the same exact products that I use or the, ex or the same exact products colors you know as long as they're in the same family range of colors you will get something similar to what i have so yes let's just get started you guys but before you do make sure you are subscribed to the channel follow my other social medias and watch my previous videos all right let's begin i'm gonna start with chickadee which is this eyeshadow right here by makeup geek and i'm using a sigma e40 tapered blending brush I'm going to be applying Chickadee onto my crease. This will be my transition shade, well, one of the many transition shades. So I'm going to keep this a little bit high, but not all the way up to my brow bone, but high enough. I'm going from outer to inner corner with this eyeshadow, and I'm not going to be super precise. I'm going to be a little bit messy on the end because I do like that rounded, messy look. The next eyeshadow I'm using is Early Bird, which is this one right here, also by Makeup Geek. And I'm going to continue using the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush for this application. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to keep it a little bit lower. So from outer. This one I'm going to bring it in three quarters of the way. So I'm not going to bring it all the way in. I'm just going to bring it in three quarters of the way. So just blend that right into that crease. Um, right into the socket if you want to feel your socket just put your head a little bit back and where the brush fits right there that's your socket right there and that's where i'm applying this eyeshadow named early bird by the way my um lid was already primed i just used concealer for that today i think i use the which concealer did I use? Not that it matters. Just a concealer is, any concealer is pretty good. But I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer for my eyelid today. Now I'm going to jump into the Alamar Cosmetics um, palette. This is the Reina del Caribe Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to go into Tropico, which is this beautiful orange right here. And I'm using a Morphe M433 brush for this application. I'm going to be applying this eyeshadow into the outer V and into my crease. So I'm just going to start packing it on over here. And I'm going to bring it in three quarters of the way into the crease. And again, my head is a little tilted a little bit back because I want it to be on that socket right there. It's just, you can feel it a lot easier when you um, throw your head back a little bit. I'm going to continue using the Reina del Caribe palette. Now I'm going to go into um, Cafecito, which is this one right here. And I'm using a Morphe M432 brush. I'm going to be applying Cafecito on my outer V just right close to my lash line. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to smoke this out. So right now I'm just applying the eyeshadow. By the way, this brown is one of the prettiest browns I own. I love it. So beautiful. I'm going to go back to that Morphe M433 brush. And I'm going to start buffing the brown right into um, Tropico but I'm gonna keep it on the outer V. Here I'm gonna grab Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, which is this one right here, on a Sigma E55 brush, and I'm going to apply this on my brow bone.
The next eyeshadow I'm using is this one right here. This one is from the Fuego Palette by Crown Pro Brushes. I'm using a BH Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush. These eyeshadows don't have names, but it's this one in the corner right here. And I'm just going to be applying this on my mobile lid on the little spot where I have no eyeshadow on right now. And I'm going to connect it to um, Tropico and Cafecito. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be using this Pretty Vulgar Gel Eyeliner on this Aesthetica brush, which is an eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to apply this on my lash line. But I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to follow that, my normal lash line. And I'm going to make it a little thick because I will be applying lashes when I'm done with this. I like this gel eyeliner is really smooth and it's pretty dark I mean if you want it darker then you can go in with an even darker eyeliner usually I find that liquid eyeliners are the darkest eyeliners but well you know what I'll take that back because the NYC liquid eyeliner is pretty dark that's why I say that Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to be using the uh, Butter London, what is it? Butter London Double Decker Lashes. And I'm only applying this on my top lashes because I still haven't done my bottom. But I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll do that, the bottom lashes with the same mascara. And actually, before I finish, I'm going to be applying eyeliner. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega um, Blast Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to tightline my upper and lower waterlines. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Fresh Face Foundation. I have two, a darker and a lighter color. Well, one is more warm and the other one's cooler because I have a mixture of both what is this darkness here um yeah so i'm gonna be mixing these bo both of these foundations i've already um moisturized primed my face is ready to go that's why i look all nice and glowy um so i'm just gonna mix these two foundations and i'm gonna go for it hopefully i get the right shade this is what they look like so can you see one is more pinky and cooler and the other one is a lot warmer and more yellow so let's see let me mix these together and i'm gonna start blending it onto my face and hopefully i get the right shade because i've been in the sun and even though the tan is kind of fading away right now i still have a little bit of it so i have no idea what shade i really am so well, let's play i'm using the beauty blender Hey, that actually looks good. Oh, I don't know on camera, but here on the mirror, it looks good. This Bare Minerals Fresh Face Foundation is one of my favorite foundations, you guys. I freaking love it. It feels like I'm applying moisturizer on my face. I don't feel it heavy at all. It covers what it needs to cover. And I really do like it. And I still look nice and glowy. I don't know. It, I feel like I look healthy. So I really, really like this foundation. I mean, if you want it to be like full coverage, then you do have to apply maybe two or even three layers of it. But I normally don't wear full coverage unless I'm doing something like super extra. So that's why I like it. Because I do like um, light to medium coverage foundations. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Revolution Concealer and Define. 
And this one is in this shade C12, which is a little dark, but I do like it because it covers my under eye area. So first I go in with this to cover my under eye area. I do bring some down to the side of my nose because it does get a little bit red around here. And this is why I like the light to medium foundations because then I apply concealers and then I apply um, all the powders and I feel like it's a little heavy for this area in the United States, which is South Florida and it's just hot here all the time. So um, I'm gonna be blending, blending this with the Beauty Blender as well. So just push it into my skin. And now to highlight, I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer. Today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to do a little bit of highlighting. Um, this one is in uh, the color medium, the shade medium. And I'm just blending this out as well with the beauty blender. <sighs> Woo, that's a lot of powder. All right, so I'm going to be setting the concealer with this um, RCMA translucent powder. And I'm using a, an e.l.f an elf blush brush yes so i'm just gonna set what i've just applied concealer well i'm just gonna set the concealers i'm not gonna set the foundation just the concealer for my bronzer i'm using the physicians formula butter bronzer and light bronzer on a fluffy brush i'm just gonna go in to the cheekbone area Bring it from the forehead as well, the top of the forehead, around the temples, and into the jawline. And I do bring it down the neck a little bit. For my highlight, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer on a fan brush. And I'm just going to be applying this on the top of my cheeks right here. And a little bit on the nose, this is on the bridge of the nose, and tap on my lip. For my blush, I'm going to be using this blush by Note called Desert Rose, and I'm using a dual fiber blending brush by BH Cosmetics for this application. And I'm just going to stipple this right over, or in, actually in between the highlight and the bronzer. And I do bring it all the way out to my hairline. So you can see, it's such a beautiful blush. Bring it up a little bit. Whatever is left on the, br on the brush, I like to just, you know, pat it everywhere else. Just to kind of, I don't know, blend everything together. To finish my eyes, I'm gonna go back into the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, Chickadee and Early Bird. I'm gonna be applying these eyeshadows under my lower lashes. I'm using an Ofra 21 blending brush. So I'm just gonna pick both of these eyeshadows on this brush and I'm going to buff this right under my lashes. And I'm gonna connect it to the outer corner of my eye here. All right, now I'm gonna go into Tropico by the Reina del Caribe palette, the LMR palette. And I'm going back to that Morphe M433 brush. And I'm just gonna pick up a little bit because this eyeshadow is very pigmented. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to buff this right under my lashes. I'm just going to stay closer to um, the waterline. And I'm going to connect it out here as well. All 
I'm going to pick up some cafecito on my Morphe M432 brush and I'm going to apply cafecito right into my lower lashes just to smoke it out just a tiny little bit more. And I'm just going to keep it really close to that waterline. I'm going to take this Modern Minerals brush and I'm going to go into El Malecón. This eyeshadow right here, I'm still using Reina del Caribe Palette Volume 1. And I'm going to apply this into my inner tear duct area for a highlight. Now I'm going to apply some lashes and I will be right back. For the lashes, I went with the Tartese Pro Lashes in Goddess and they are beautiful. Um, on the lips, I'm going to be using two color pop ultra satin lippies. Um, I'm going to be using 0 0.0 and screenshot and this is what they look like, 0 0.0 screenshot. I'm going to start with 0 0.0. So here's the final look you guys like I said in the beginning I have like a cocktail of makeup products all over my face this is the outcome of it I am loving this eye look I hope you guys like it as well thank you so much for watching please make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already follow my other social medias and watch my previous videos until next time my loves hugs and kisses bye I'm gonna be for my bronzer. I'm using the Physicians Formula. I'm gonna be lining my upper waterline, my upper, and I'm using an Aesthetica. Um, and actually, this is gonna be on my crease, not my mobile lid. So I'm gonna keep. What the heck? Like my Spanish accent keeps coming up.